So my husband's done a couple unboxing videos on our YouTube channel and uh, I thought I'd give it a try myself just to see what all the fun was about. Recently I bought some pillows on Amazon that I thought would be helpful um, after my cervical disc replacement and fusion surgery uh, about 10 days ago. Um, struggling to get comfortable at home uh, in the bed at night. Um, still kind of halfway sleeping in the recliner at night so I thought maybe um, looking online, looking at some of the other products that folks are using um, may be helpful to me to provide comfort so I can stay in the bed longer and eventually 100% back in the bed would be wonderful and uh, provide a better night's sleep and comfort as well for any of the residual aching from the surgery and just getting comfortable again um, as the muscles are still tight. So two of the things that I bought on Amazon, uh, one of them is a cervical pillow for neck pain, uh, extra large firm neck pillows for sleeping, side sleepers, um, back pain relief, sleeping ergonomic pillow for neck and shoulder pain, and it's a queen size for $44.09 on Amazon. Um, so I purchased this on the 12th and it arrived two days later, uh, today on the 14th of January. So um, we're gonna open that box. And then I also saw a pillow online uh, that folks are recommending, which I thought was kind of funny at first. It's a pregnancy pillow, but it also is contoured support for neck, back, hip, joint pain, and sciatic, sciatica relief with a removable washable cover. It's more of a full body pillow and a little more firm. It has kind of a candy cane shape, if you will. And hopefully that's what we'll see when we open the box. And that was $19.99 on Amazon. Okay, so I'm gonna open the box I received today from Amazon. So it looks like the first pillow um, is going to be the pregnancy pillow that's also um, helpful for um, neck uh, pain as well. It's shaped sort of like a candy cane that's closest to me. And then the second item in the box is the ergonomic memory foam pillow. I can see where some of the fun comes in this. It feels like Christmas again. Uh, so the first pillow we'll open is the wraparound side sleeper pillow uh, often referred to also as the pregnancy pillow. Let's see if we can just cut it a little bit without cutting the pillow. We have an instruction card here. be back impact which probably helped make it smaller for shipping if I can open it away from myself oh I can hear if you can hear that but the air is starting to uh, come into the bag and inflate the pillow on Amazon that it's actually for your ear. Let's see if I can find that on the instructions here in a moment. So the side sleeper pillow um, provides cradling comfort with a U-shape designed to support the entire body, including head, neck, arm, and hips. And it also has a ergonomic ear pocket design that helps provide perfect comfort uh, for side sleepers uh, to avoid ear discomfort. One thing I did want to point out is um, the shape of the pillow and its intent. So again, you would be facing this side of the pillow with your head laying here and your ear here for comfort. And then this would go along the side of your back to kind of help provide that cradling and comfort support. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that works. Typically when I'm sleeping and if I'm having um, ache and issues, I often roll a pillow or a, sorry, roll a towel 
up and I put it behind my back as a, as a quick way to kind of support my back. The other thing I like about this, I noticed there is a zipper. It's kind of hidden here in a little pocket where you can actually take the cover off and it exposes the actual pillow inside. You can take the cover off and it's a uh, washer machine safe, which would be great for being able to keep clean. I'm gonna use this tonight and I'll let you know um, in the next video how it goes. All right, so next up is the second pillow I bought. And the reason for this pillow compared to the previous pillow for side sleepers is unlike the one that is pretty much 100% uh, made for side sleepers, this pillow would also support anyone who wants to sleep on their back and help support the neck and the shoulders area. And that's important because the first few days, maybe a few weeks even, you may be sleeping on your back, um, just out of comfort coming out of the surgery and just trying to find the comfort level with the aching and other things going on in the neck from the surgery. So this pillow here is designed for all types of sleepers. Again, back sleepers, side sleepers, stomach sleepers. Again, you don't want to sleep on your stomach after cervical spine surgery, um, but you are going to want to sleep on your back for a while for comfort. And then it looks like you could also transition to side sleeping here with this pillow. Of interest I found this is interesting it says warm tip you may notice a slight odor when you're first you first unpack your new pillow this is normal for this type of product the slight odor is non-toxic and harmless Wow, this is actually a pretty nice sized pillow. So on the box here, it mentions that the pillow is ergonomic design for optimal comfort, as you see with the ridges and the support bases here. Comfortable and resilient memory foam and dual-sided contour fits different needs, whether it's the shoulders, the neck, or the, or the um, middle back. And it's actually very cooling to the touch, which is something I'm a huge fan of. Sleeping at night, tend to get hot at night. Uh, so the first thing I notice is zipper on the back. So it looks like you can take the cover off and expose the memory foam pillow itself. And this, according to the instructions, is machine washable. Throw it right in the washing machine when you wash your sheets and blankets. The other thing I noticed is the curvature up here for comfort. So it looks like you probably put your head down here, have that kind of support and cradle the neck area. And sleeping on your back, this would definitely keep you from rolling your head down in an uncomfortable position, which you definitely don't want to do after surgery. So again, this is another pillow I'll be using tonight. Um, give it a try and see if I can find some comfort level with it. And I will do another video soon to let you know how it went. I read earlier uh, the warning tip on the top of the box where it mentioned that there may be an unpleasant uh, or slight odor uh, when you unbox the pillow. I did not notice any of that when I unboxed it. Um, just a very mild hint of just something being new coming out of a box, but I did not notice anything um, as a slight odor or anything like that. So that's good as well. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with the size of this pillow. So I'm hoping that will mean a lot more comfort for me. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm struggling uh, 10 days after uh, replacement infusion surgery to sleep full time 100% in the bed. So it'd be nice to try something that may help kind of support the neck um, as it's still kind of healing and aching in the bed to see if I can actually sleep on my back more and then do some side sleeping as well. So you may remember that I purchased a couple of pillows from Amazon about a week and a half ago. And um, I wanted to provide a little update on those. I felt like I needed a little more time to sleep with them for a couple of nights just to kind of get a better feel versus just one night. That's kind of hard to do, especially with a memory foam pillow. So I'll say that I really enjoyed the side sleeping uh, pregnancy pillow. Uh, the, the one that looks like a candy cane. That's probably the one I've used the most, uh, especially since I'm a side sleeper. Um, and I will say that the only issue probably with that, the only downside is that you do have to flip it over if you're going to change sides. So just keep that in mind. I really don't have any other complaints about that pillow other than just remembering, you know, to, to turn it over when you turn over at night. The memory foam pillow, it's been a little harder to get used to. I think a lot of people probably deal with that, you know, when they're using a memory foam pillow 
it's hard to um, kind of get used to it the first one or two or even uh, five nights. Again, if you've ever used a memory foam product, you do know that it takes more than one or two nights or even a week to kind of get used to a memory foam pillow or bed or anything like that. So that's why I wanted to take a little extra time with that one. I have found some comfort sleeping on my back with it and the nice support that it provides to the neck area and also provides great support for side sleepers and doesn't allow your head to kind of fall down as you fall asleep and go into a weird position. So I've been using both pillows actually, I'm just kind of trading them out throughout the night when I change positions or um, get frustrated and kind of get uncomfortable in the bed, I'll, I'll grab a different pillow to see if that'll help me. So I plan on keeping both pillows because they both provide different types of support and comfort and I'll just kind of trade them out throughout the night. All right, so thanks for watching and if you like the video, click the like button and subscribe.